it's the crap goth my name is pixie and welcome to my channel of randomness where you never know what you're gonna get and today i am so friggin excited because something i've been wanting for so long since last year has finally arrived and it is <laughs> the danny chu pear body smart so if you want to see which one I've got, please stick around. I am so excited, I might actually piss myself. <laughs> Hello! So it's been ages since I've actually done a Danny Chu Smart Doll unboxing and seriously I am so, so freaking excited about this one. So for those people who watch this channel regularly, they know that I collect BJDs, which are ball jointed dolls and my absolute favourite out of all of them are the two foot tall Danny Chu smart dolls. Now these are incredible articulated dolls which have a skeletal frame inside, they're fantastic for posing, they're fantastically like durable for taking out photo shoots, taking out as travel buddies and they're just bloody amazing. So I now have 18 of these dolls and this is number 18, the one I've got here. I actually still have two more I haven't unboxed down there because I've not been in a very good headspace and I really wanted to do it justice. I have got, I'm not going to tell you which ones I've got, one of them is super super special but this one is one that I have wanted so long. So Danny Chu Smart Dolls, for those people who don't know, they are just amazing dolls and they come out in a variety of bodies and skin tones and he also caters for people with disabilities. So they can have um, amputees, mastectomies, scars, um, stoma bags, hearing aids, asthma inhalers, crutches, wheelchairs, all sorts of things. Honestly, there is so many different things for these dolls. They're absolutely amazing. I've got one that has acne because I used to have acne as a teenager. And there's just lots and lots and lots of all-inclusive dolls, which is fantastic. Now, this one I am so super excited about, in particular because she is a pear girl. Basically, she's a little bit chubby, which is fantastic because so am I. I am not a size 10 skinny girl at all. I have a fat bum on me. I have wide hips. I have big thighs. I am a bit... I'm not a skinny girl. So to see a doll which is not the usual skinny super slender doll is so so refreshing and so nice and yes I know Barbie have done it and everything else but honestly this really makes me happy because I really do love my smart dolls. Now in comparison I actually have another smart doll down here which is one of my absolute favourites and she is this one here. Now I've obviously I've, I've done her up to be kind of like a post-apocalyptic warrior. Now she is my proud prowess, which is really, really good. And Danny actually did gift me, because um, I did write to him and, and, and ask for one of these when I found out he was doing them, was he gifted me for free um, one of the busts. Now she has a stenotomy scar, which is the same scar that Corey had, my little boy, because he had two heart transplants. Um, and so you had to prove that you were either a carer or, or somebody who was a recipient of a transplant to be able to get one of these busts. So obviously me being Corey's mum wrote in and said, look, this is my little boy's story. And he sent me one, which was amazing. I chose Proud Prowess because she has little rainbow stripes on her face, which is brilliant. So yes, although I think it represents the LGBTQ community, which is great. But for me personally, I bought her because she represents Rainbow's Children's Hospice. Rainbow's obviously, hence the, fa the face. And um, so that is obviously where my little boy went to stay quite a lot. So this doll is basically the little warrior version, a female warrior version of Corey. So she has got her little goggles. She's got an awesome little beanie hat. This is a, this is a proper cool to Japan Danny Chu smart doll hat. She um, All the doll dolls, doll, oh, can't speak now. All of the dolls come with underwear, which is fantastic, but they don't come with any other accessories apart from a stand. Um, so if you want to buy the clothes, you can buy them off the site, but Danny, being the amazing person he is, especially for these pear dolls, which are the bigger than these dolls here, he has provided free sewing patterns on the website. So I will link up the Smart Doll website into the description of this video. So these dolls here, as you can see, on are actually very, very slender. So they are very, very toned, they're very slender. These are two foot tall dolls, they are fantastic. They're fully articulated, which is incredible. You can remove the hands, you can remove the arms, the legs, the feet, everything. You can interchange parts of the body. They are absolutely brilliant dolls, they are amazing. But this is the standard doll and the pear body is down here and I have never seen a pear body like properly like this, only pictures. So I'm gonna be really, really interested to see the difference between the slender doll to the more chubby version. 
So she is going to go down for now. She's got a little mask, which is so cool. I just got this off Vinted, which is really cool. A little secondhand mask. She's so funky. So there we go. She's there in a little post-apocalyptic. So look, this one, she's got knives and everything. She's got, oh, and a little, a little poppy thing as well. But there we go. They are so cool. These are absolutely brilliant dolls. So I'm going to compare her to the pair and let you know what I actually think and which one I prefer. See you in a minute. Right, so this is the box and I haven't opened it at all. It arrived today. It arrived um, late morning, I think. I haven't even opened it. So I'm actually going to open it now. It's got my dress on it, so obviously I'm not going to open it on camera on that bit. But I have not seen these dolls at all in any conventions, any stores, any anywhere at all. I've only seen them online. Um, and obviously a couple of YouTube videos of reviews but oh my god I am so excited so oh my gosh so first of all the first thing I notice is the bags are different that is a different bag than I usually get so I think I think the other bags are be seen with smart doll or something like that I've got lots of different smart doll bags um some of them which Danny has actually signed as well which is really cool because apparently he's stopped doing that now so they now become collectible items which is cool so when you get your smart doll you'll get her in a bag well now like this which is a new one so this one is be seen with smart doll the other ones say something a little bit different definitely in a different font and a different layout I can't remember now you know what it says but it's not one of these ones which is really really cool so that's like an eye chart which is so super cool so you will get your bag like this you'll get your box which if you've ordered any accessories like clothes hats shoes different bus hand packs um, anything like that they will all come in this box here and this is your doll which is really cool and this one is she is live and let live in cinnamon so cinnamon is the lighter skin tone now I tend to go for the tea bodies, which are the kind of like the more, um, the, the darker skin, so the kind of like a tan skin doll, because I think they're so pretty, more like olive skinned, and the cocoa are the much darker skin tones, I have all of them, but this one I wanted specifically because she has got freckles, and it reminded me of Corey, because Corey had loads of freckles across his nose, and so does this one, but first things first, I'm going to open the box and see what we've got with her. Now, I didn't actually order anything with her um, extra. Now, there was two options when it comes to the pair bodies. There's what's called the standalone, and that is the basic doll with a small bust, or there is the medium bust. Now, the standalone wasn't available. There was only the medium bust option. So there's a possibility that she either comes with bigger boobs already, or the big, there is a bigger bust in here. I'm not quite sure how it works, but there is a price difference. So she was... Um, I think she was to buy about £499, um, which I, I don't know what. I mean, the yen rate to the Great British Pound is actually really good at the moment. And to get her into the country customs-wise, she was £107. So, yeah, I mean, they are a little bit expensive, but you can put them on PayPal, which is great. Um, yes. So this one comes with a bigger bust because I have seen it here, which is so cool. So in here we have some right big baps, I tell you. There's some serious boobs on them. Wow. So I probably will swap her out because she's she's a bigger girl. So I'm going to give her bigger boobs and I'll show you how to do that. So there we go. So we have a bust there, which is really cool. So you can actually, on oh, speak then, you can actually interchange the bust between the dolls as well, which is great. I love that about the dolls. You, there are, you can swap the hands, you can swap the heads, you can swap the busts, all sorts. They are fantastic. We also have a wig. So all the dogs come, all the dogs, they're not a dog, it's a doll. The dolls come with wigs as well. So she's got a beautiful dark brown wig on there, which again, I'm going to put on the doll on camera. And I sometimes struggle with that bit. So don't laugh at me if I get it wrong. You get your stand. Now these things are bloody invaluable. They are brilliant. So if you don't know what this is, this is a smart doll telescopic stand. Now every doll has a hole in the back of them, which I will show you on this one here. Um, so you just lift up the clothes on this one and there is a hole just at the back there you see and the stand literally just pushes into it and then you pull it out like a it's basically telescopic and it stops your doll from falling over so if you're going to go out doing photo shoots with your doll and it's on uneven territory always use your stand you can photoshop it out or the stands are actually movable so you can actually position the stand so it is behind your doll but it's behind one of the legs 
so you actually can actually hide them from view which is absolutely fantastic there's such a good design on them honestly they're brilliant so i'm gonna put her back down so we've got the wig the bust and the telescopic stand and you'll also get one of these which is an information card. So you can actually see the different range of the dolls, some of them are on there, look, which is absolutely brilliant. So you've got ones called Survivor and all sorts. They're absolutely amazing dolls. I'd have one of all of them if I could afford it. So, and this is your Smart Doll Care Guide. Now, some of it is funny, it's common sense. So, um, so here's avoid direct sunlight for prolonged periods. Uh, do not submerge, submerge in water. Smart dolls can't hold their breath for more than five seconds because they have small lungs. So some of it is quite funny, like never feed after midnight. Obviously, that's a gremlins thing. Um, but honestly, but it is actually, these dolls are really, really durable. Obviously, they are expensive. It's completely your choice whether you could buy them for your child or not. Um, I think kids would love these dolls as you know if they look after them that's fantastic as well you know they are really really great dolls to play with but I'm gonna get on to opening the actual doll itself now because this is what I've been waiting for and I can tell you this bag is heavy compared to what they normally are I think she's gonna be a hell of a lot bigger than the standard ones because she feels weighty like me right so she's in there oh my god so these are the evolved skeleton ones which are really really good, good so these are the latest models of the skeletons and they kind of click when you move the joints and everything so don't worry about that that is completely normal and they come in the kneeling position and already i can see she's got a big butt on her which is really really cool now like i said i have this is my 18th danny chew smart doll <laughs> and at one point i didn't even think i'd ever be able to afford one but most of them were secondhand when I bought them. I bought them on payment plans, what's called a layaway with other people. And then eventually I started buying new from Japan because it actually worked out cheaper to do it that way with the yen rate being so good. Um, and honestly, this is the one. Danny announced last year he was making the pair bodies and I wanted one straight away. I was like, as soon as they come out, I have got to get one. Unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough because they sold out literally within like minutes of being released. Now, Japan is about nine hours ahead of the UK. I think it's about that. And so I was waiting up to like two or three o'clock in the morning for Danny to do a drop on, on Twitter. And uh, then I ran straight over and I didn't get it in time. So when I got this one, I was so happy. So, so happy. So there we go. Oh, my God. She is so much bigger. My God, she is... She really is loads bigger than the Slim Dolls. <gasps> She's stunning. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. Just there we go. Just look at her. Just look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't she stunning? The colour of her eyes are so vivid blue. The freckles across her nose are stunning. Her makeup. I wish that I could do my makeup this good. Although, and I look, wouldn't look like this. Honestly, she is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. And so at the moment she has the standard the standard um, boobs on, the standard bust on. I am actually going to swap her out to her big boobs, which I'm going to do in a minute for you. But there we go. So she is, oh my God, she's curvy. She's lumpy and bumpy. And she is just a lot more natural for me at least anyway. Because like I said, I am not a slim girl. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. So a bum sticks out of her pants. She's got nice thick thighs. She's, oh my gosh, she is amazing. She's absolutely incredible. Now you can see the details and so you can, can you hear that? So you can hear, like she can literally, you can move the hands. You can take these hands off. So hold the wrists gently. There's like little, like little balls in the wrists. Just hold them and you can just pop the hands off like this. Makes it fantastically easy to dress the dolls because you can remove the hands. And then you literally just slide the hands back on again, which is brilliant. You can get different hands as well. So they're doing like that. They've got ones like that, all sorts. They do hand packs, which is fantastic. Um, so you can take those off. You can take the arms off. You can take the heads off and everything. So she is so different compared to this one. So size wise, height wise, they're both exactly the same. But you can tell just by the thickness of the waist there and how skinny she is. There is a very, very big size difference in these two dolls. She is so much heavier and so much chunkier than this one. Like she is super light and there is weight in her, which is incredible. So 
although the clothes, the standard size clothes for do um, for the Danny Two Smart Dolls will um, fit the shoes, they won't fit her. So she is going to need a bigger size clothes because of her bum and her legs and stuff. Hence the reason Danny has actually released free sewing patterns so creators can go and make their own things, which is really, really good. I'm going to give it a go because I can't make clothes, but I can't afford to buy any. So I'm just going to use my own leggings that I've got. I'm going to cut some up and see if I can make some clothes for her which is fantastic but yeah her first appearance is like oh my god I love her she's absolutely brilliant she is chunky she's great to hold I think she's going to be my new travel buddy to be honest with you I love her the underwear is fantastic it's really nice so um it says here uh smart doll with smart doll the future is in your hands and that goes all the way around. She's got lovely sports underwear on, which is brilliant. All the dolls come with underwear sets, which is fantastic. And the different colours as well. But I am quickly going to change out her breasts because I would like to put on the big ones. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And hopefully I don't mess it up on camera because I'm going to have to balance it in between my legs. So just bear with me and hopefully I'll get it right the first time. Right, it is actually easy, in theory, to do this. Um, doing it on camera, there's always that added pressure that I'm going to mess it up. But if you want to take off the bust on a smart doll, it's not that difficult to do. So first of all, hold your smart doll firmly by the neck and very, very gently, don't press into the rise. Make sure you hold the sides of the ears and you get the, the head and you literally twist and pull and you can hear it click and there we go. There is the head. It's so it's nice and easy to come off. It's always better to remove the wigs first as well, just because it stops the hair from getting messed up. So there's the head off, and there is your headless doll. So straight away, we can now remove the arms. So it's a very, very similar thing. Everything is kind of pushed in. This bit makes me nervous taking arms off. But I'm just going to get it. I'm going to hold the bust very carefully and very gently wiggle the arms out. There we go. And there's the inside. See, it just slots in. Super, super easy. There's one arm and hold off and very gently twist and pull. There's the second arm. I'm always scared of breaking it, but actual fact, these dolls are so robust. And then you can just slip off the bra and you have the boobs. Now you may notice the lack of headlights. There is no headlights on these dolls, nipples, there isn't any. You can actually get them sometimes with nipples on. Um, I think Danny has released them before. They do cost a little bit extra pretty certain you can get 3d printed ones because danny does also release 3d printed um patterns as well not something i've tried to do personally but yeah you can always paint them on if you're a doll artist but she has no headlights but that's okay so now this should just technically slip off there we go and actually you can see the internal skeleton of the doll which is really really cool like these things are so well put together and there is the small bust see it's just lovely and it's soft it's very very soft which is really cool so I want to store that in the bag I take the next one out of because I like to look after my things once they've come out of packaging so yeah, there we go look you can see all the different parts of the skeleton and it goes all the way down now technically I could take the whole doll to pieces but I don't want to do that I've never actually taken one fully apart but there is videos on YouTube by Danny himself and he shows um, the actual assembly of smart dolls which is so cool these are not factory manufactured dolls these are made by hand so they are so worth the money. So, big boobs are going to go on this body, which is cool. I wish my boobs were this purred. They really aren't. So there we go. I'll show you the, the boobs that look. So we've got the, got the nice big bazookas and we have the smaller ones. So, are they? Yeah, yeah, you can see. I was like, are they the same? No, they're not. So you can see, look, there is actually, these ones are much fuller than these ones here. So I'm going to put on... So literally just get your boobs, <laughs> sounds so weird saying that, and just line up the neck hole and just pop it in. Just make sure it overlaps at the back there so you've got it. And there we go. And I think this, the, the, the bra is going to skirt over just a little bit. So put the bra on over the shoulders before you put the arms in because it makes it easier. And there we go. You see she's got a lot more cleavage now. And I just think it's actually much better proportioned with the larger bust, which is great. So, and I actually think you possibly will in the future be able to get an even bigger bust. But for now, let's get the arms on in the right order. Now, this is how a bit like I am. Sometimes I'm looking at the doll and I have to look at my own hand and see where my thumb is to make sure I get the arm on the right way around. I'm looking, comparing, because seriously, 
because I'm looking at myself, it's like a mirror image and I'm like, is it the right one or not? I have got them mixed up before and it's taken me ages going, there's something not right about this doll because I've got the fucking arms on the wrong way round. Very annoying. But yes, they match, so it's all good. So technically this should be easy to do. So just line up the armhole with the bust there and the shoulder and just hold it, line it up and very gently twist and push. So as you twist and pull to get it out, you should just twist and pull to get it back in and just make sure that it's all in there. There we go. And she is in. There we go. She's in. It's all gone in really easily on that one. Watch it not happen for this one. Again, the same look. Just, just pull this one down a little bit just so it's, so it's lined up so you're not stretching anything. Pull it down a bit. This is a soft bus, and but these are hard, hard arms. So get it and just line it up and just gently push and twist slightly. You can almost feel the click in it. And there we go. And she is back on. And then we have got the head again super super easy little hole like um almost looks phallic in a way doesn't it just line up the hole with the um with the neck thing and then you just push very very gently and twist again you can feel the head going down down the ridges of the neck so you know it's on properly and there she is she has got her new bust on which is fantastic and she is ready now to be dressed if I had the clothes, which I don't at the moment. But she needs hair. That is the next thing because seriously, the wigs transform these dolls. And again, you can buy different wigs and put all different, different hairstyles on them as well, which is brilliant. Some of mine have got dreadlocks and everything. They are so cool. One day I will show you a whole video of all my dolls together. But for now, let's get this girl's head on. No, hair on. She's so pretty. Right, I'm going to get her wig on now, which is really cool. So the wigs come in these little bags. Now, honestly, it's up to you how you store your wigs, but I would always, always, always hang on to these bags because they are just proof, which is fantastic. And at some point you might decide, I mean, you might be happy with the wig she's got and keep it on there always. Or you might see one um, which Danny brings out or somebody else has released on Etsy or something. Um, and you might think, I've got nothing to keep them in. So always, always hold on to your wig bags if you can. They'll come in cardboard sleeves like this, which is to keep their shape, and they all come with little nets. I don't know if you can see on camera, actually, there's a net there. There we go. So these are fantastic because they help to keep it really nice. The ball of paper inside seems basic, but it helps to keep the shape and it stops it from going flat, which is really, really good. Now, wigs are the one thing that I have trouble with getting on these frigging dolls sometimes, honestly. I sit there like, ah, holding it down with my chin, and sometimes they ping off backwards and everything, so... Do it however you feel comfortable doing it. Some people choose to put the wigs on, flipping it upside down like that, and then they line up the front and ping it over. I can't do it that way. So um, you'll see how I do it in a minute. Probably completely frigging wrong to everything that everybody else does. But right, hold on to your hairnet, hold on to the bit of paper, hold on to your bag. Because you can just store these flat and it's always worth saving them because these wigs are so well made. Honestly, you don't want to destroy them if you ever decide to change them just by storing them incorrectly. You can brush them as well. You can style them and everything like these are absolutely stunning. Just look at that. They're beautiful. They're really, really, really well made wigs. They are stunning. Some of mine, I've plaited them. I've put them in pigtails. Like I say some, some of mine have got dreadlocks. They're not the Danny Chu ones. These are ones that I think I bought from Etsy, but they're so nice. I have a vampire with big long dreads. She looks awesome, honestly. But I'm going to try and get this one on first time. Probably isn't going to work very well because I'm not very good at doing it. But the way that I do it personally is I look at the center so her parting, which is there, sometimes you have off-centre partings, that kind of throws you. But I tend to line up the middle of the wig to the middle, middle of the forehead. And then I will stretch it out. Now, some of them are more stretchy than other ones. Some of them, they have, I don't know what they call it. They almost have where, where, where the wig is stitched from the inside and it's like a roll. Now, those are notoriously hard to get on. But these ones for now, I'm going to line up her forehead with the centre of the wig there. And then I'm going to literally, I'm just going to put, put her down a little bit so she can, I can see what I'm doing, which is not very easy. I'm going to tip her head backwards just so I can see. Now there's every chance this is not going to work first time, so don't laugh. Right, I'm going to line her up by looking in the camera. And then what I do is I put my chin on her like that just to hold that in place. And now this is really difficult because the heads are so movie. Oh, I could do it with like a head clamp, but I'm going to try and do it again because that just moved. It clearly did not work the first time. I'm not going to pause the video though, I'm going to keep doing it until I friggin' do it. Alright, and I'm going to put my head there, my chin there, 
and then get get the back of the wig and just wiggle it over the back of the head. You can pull the hair off slightly, just pull on until you get it right. Now, just take a little, little bit of manoeuvring. Say so sometimes they ping off. This is a stupid look, I know. This is the only way that I can do, and I can get my fingers, my thumbs, and just pull the wig down over the head and hope it doesn't fall off. Is it on? It looks as though it's on. <laughs> I have done this before and I've lifted it up and it's gone pong and shot down the back of the room before. So I actually think it stayed on this time. So there we go. She actually has her wig on. Now, obviously, she's got quite a high forehead there. So if you don't want it like that, you can very, very gently just manoeuvre the wig, pull it down at the front a little bit to where you want it to be. Um, now, I'm actually going to leave it like this because I am actually going to pull her hair up into pigtails. So I think she's going to look so pretty. But the difference the hair makes on these dolls, it literally transforms them into like a little person. That is a bit high on her forehead, actually. So I'm going to bring that down slightly just by pulling it. I'm going to hold the back of her neck and just bring the wig down a bit so she's got a smaller forehead. There we go. And I think that is slightly offset parting, actually. But just look at that. Isn't she absolutely stunning? She is beautiful. I mean, honestly, the details in her are gorgeous. Her little ears are beautiful. And by the way, ooh, the ring light went then. Um, you can actually buy elf tipped ears for these dolls, which I do have several pairs of. And you just kind of like insert them over the top of the dolls. They are amazing. So they have these big pixie elf type ears sticking out, which is great. But yeah, so she has the most beautiful features. She is very, very pretty. She has gorgeous eyes. Her makeup is stunning. Her freckles... The one thing that I loved was this girl sold me on her freckles because like I said, my little boy Corey just behind me on the cushion, he had so many freckles in summer and he had bright blue eyes and this girl really just reminds me in a way of him in summer. It's so, so nice. But yeah, she is absolutely stunning and she is so worth every single penny that I spent on her. She's just absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. They're lovely dolls. Absolutely bloody gorgeous right so to end the video comparison doll so obviously this hasn't got clothes on and she has and I don't want to strip her down because she took ages to dress and all my others are upstairs so which one would I prefer to be honest with you I love them both I really really do but just because I am a chunky girl myself I think the pear body definitely definitely wins my vote i mean i have 17 of these dolls all in the slender all different skin tones all different marks and blemishes and the hair colors and everything but the pear body for me oh my gosh like she is worth the way literally i love the fact she's chunky i love the fact her butt hangs out of her pants like she is not a skinny supermodel she represents what most the majority of, of women are you know we are naturally lumpy and bumpy we know especially if you've had kids and stuff like that it's you're not supposed to be stick thin and I think this is just another example of the fact that it's okay to look a little bit curvy and to have bumps possibly when you shouldn't have bumps I don't know but I think she's definitely definitely worth it if I could choose another one I would go for another pair body I think definitely it's worth the weight it's worth the money she is absolutely fantastic she does have so many gorgeous features about her but like I said do be aware that when you do go onto the smart doll website that although the shoes are the same size so you can, the, the standard shoes will fit so these are one three like so kind of like one third so these will fit the standard size shoes but they will not fit the standard size clothes so you are going to have to buy the special pair body or use the same patterns or if you're creative just see what you can do and then upload it to Twitter and tag Danny in it because he loves seeing people's creations what they've done with the dolls. So I'm sure that I will do another video and she will be fully clothed when I can either afford to do it um, like get somebody to commission something or maybe even give it a go myself and see what that turns out like. I don't know what style she's going to be yet, but I just love her. She's absolutely amazing. Danny, you've done a friggin' awesome job. Well worth the wait. The pear body is a definite 100% thumbs up for me. She is my new favourite, favourite model. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Anyway, if you like what you see on this video, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Also, tick that little bell icon to make sure that you get all the notifications when a new video does go up. It really helps me as well have you got any smart dolls please do comment down below what's your favorite one have you got any that you really really want this one was my grail after my monday tea which is another doll that i really wanted and i have her upstairs 
So yeah, if you like dolls and you want to talk dolls, come and find me also on Facebook. I have got the page called The Crap Goth. I'm on there pretty much daily. Um, and I've also got TikTok as well, which ends up lots of random stuff on there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all again soon. Bye-bye!